Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. The angels, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts. That, that we, we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace, for the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you for the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the cenacle, Pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian Hamad. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Hamad, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith under the guidance of your gentle spirit. Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist which your Son, Jesus, offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically. For your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Hamad, the Apostle of the Eucharist. Pray for us.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, come to our sisters. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount Olives, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. 
So what do you say? They said to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with a woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in today's gospel, we see how the experts of law, out of pretense, referred to Jesus' moral authority. Jesus is confronted with a very difficult situation. of either executing justice by passing a death sentence on the woman or going against the law to save the life of this adulterous woman. In either case, his life would still be in danger. But as a divine legislator, he straightened up and said to them, let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Jesus gives us today an example to imitate in confronting our everyday dilemmas between the laws that promote the culture of death and compassion for the transgressors. He shows us that the convention of laws is for the conversion of the transgressors. For the return of those who have lost the right direction in life and not for the termination of their life. Laws ought to serve the purpose of making us become better persons. We realize the better versions of ourselves by hearing Christ telling us in the sacrament of reconciliation, neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. We learn that all of us are indeed and are indeed in need of conversion. When we fail to realize within ourselves that we are all in need of God's compassion, of his mercy, of his forgiveness, we fall into an attitude that makes us pass harsh, quick, and unfair judgment on others. We can but imagine the man with whom this woman committed adultery being part of the stoning crowd. Pope Benedict XVI once said, Jesus' words are full of the disarming power of truth that pulls down the wall of hypocrisy and opens consciences to a greater justice, that of love, which the fulfillment of every precept entails. Loving, compassionate, and forgiving is our God. God bless.
slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. God forgives us all our sins, healing those who live in pain. Saving us from final death, God fills us with goodness and love. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving. Are you good and gracious? Is the Lord slow to anger, rich in love? God remembers not our sins, forgiving and loving is God, loving and forgiving. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you. As heaven soars above the earth, so great the love of God for us. As far as east is from the west, the Lord takes our sins from us. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you.